Guess who's back? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm so happy to be back, my God. But isn't it cold? Guys, Kuna Barudi June. Yeah, this is what's up. How have you guys been, man? We have an amazing show lined up for you. Let us know where you're watching us from. 22999 is our free SMS line. I am Wikali Mary. Hello, good evening from wherever you're watching us across the globe. Morning, afternoon, yote. And today, I just want to plug in. It's World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. Now, it's hard to imagine that people would want to deliberately hurt the senior citizens. But unfortunately, these things happen. So this is just a constant reminder to you guys to when you see something, then say something. Let's take care of our elders. And welcome to the show, guys. I'm in red. I'm feeling <laughs> I am Nana Witi. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It's time for you to grab your cup because guess what? We have some hot tea, <laughs> some hot kashai to keep you warm this cold uh, Monday evening. But of course, we do appreciate you guys being here and we love hearing from you. So please let us know where you are watching us from. Our social media handles are Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter and Switch TV KE on Instagram. I am Jace Mena. Mm -hmm. Hello. Rapunzel. Hello. Rapunzel. Yes. Hello, Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Oh my God. Have you seen Please my hair? Please let your hair down. Oh, oh wow. Look at that. I'm just Ati, unaka nani? nani? Unicorn. Ah, unaka Rihanna. Rihanna. Oh, unaka Rihanna leo. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. It's just Rihanna. Ah, no. mm, and Rihanna say mm, what's up. Okay. <laughs> really just need nice. to cut off a bit of... <laughs> a bit of... Kamang on the moja with Rihanna. Those amount of kilos. I love me na Rihanna. Same was up. Same was up. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Hey, na kuambia ma bangs. Ma bangs too. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Cash millionaire, baby. Whatever it is, I don't know what I... I, I how's yeah. how's your weekend, guys? Oh, you oh, know, you know, Joyce, you're gonna do that to us. <laughs> so just so you know, guys, if you guys, if you were following up on social media, you know our weekend was lit. Yeah, the girls came right. together and we had an amazing time on Saturday. Yeah. Yes, that's where the story ends. Yeah. <laughs> Great, that's it. Oh, well. End of story. End of story. And on that note, talking <laughs> about stories, we have popping stories from all over the world. And trust me, we are not in those stories. <laughs> not today. It's time for Pop not Spots. Today. <laughs> Joyce, you in the kitchen? Yes, okay. yes. I do have the first story. And uh, um, it's about the Vogue challenge yes i know a lot of you guys have been seeing people you know fixing their pictures uh, on the vogue cover you know vogue title and everything so this challenge started when the editor-in-chief who goes by the name Anne Wintour um, went to social media to apologize for not having a diverse um not having the uh, employees, diverse employees in her in her company. And she went on to say that, you know, we are sorry that we haven't been inclusive of, you know, other cultures, especially black people. And we promise that that is going to change in the future. And, you know, that conversation caught a buzz and people started jumping onto the putting your picture and putting the Vogue cover. And of course, Kenyans from all over the world were not left behind. So Kenyans, Sisi Ninani, even as we jumped onto that story, and there are so many Kenyans, both local and the ones in diaspora, who also joined the challenge. Yeah. Mm. So what I knew it. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> yeah. um, well, ma, that kush I'm going to represent. <laughs> Leo too. Ziquapi, kwanza au mama editing when you napenda pa kwa mama editing tomorrow by tomorrow tutakuwa nayo better na kutumia capture card I am at Nana Witi Look out for it wow look at Sarah she looks good looks good yeah wow even who's there way good you by there I think she takes the crown look at that my goodness that's wow that looks really nice wow that is beautiful yeah her baby wow. looks really good. Manash was just made for them, like for Just check on you when. Yangu. You give us tea, you drink it. Pe yangu kesho at Joyce Maina. Oh, we are going to be plugging yeah, our handles like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Mikali Mary. And I'm not very loud about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Nana will do the thing and then I'll post. Yeah. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Moving on, guys. Um, this is a story about our very own singer, Habida. Now, we all know Habida got married a couple of years ago, settled into marriage life. And 
moved from Kenya to the States with her husband. Now, she went on social media and she's been really quiet with her music. We haven't had new songs from Habida in a bit. People are saying, oh, you know, marriage or, you know, all of that. But then again, she went on to uh, post a very emotional um, post. <laughs> yeah. After she discovered she has a lump um, in her breast and it was... It, it was not easy for her to talk about it because, well, she said that she's taken, a biopsy had been done and she's not sure if it's cancerous or not. So she's just waiting for the results. And uh, this was not easy for her because she watched uh, the dad go through cancer and it wasn't, it wasn't easy. She said she is not scared by so many things in life, but she admits that she is very very scared so i'm just going to read her posts baba team and she says today after a, uh, after a long two weeks of pondering uh what the hell is in my body i had a biopsy at uh, central mid middlesex hospital thank god for the very friendly staff because there are not many things that scare me but dang i'm scared seeing my father go through cancer was terrible it's a terrible disease and i and here i am with a lump in my breast Lump in the name of Jesus, you are Benin. Uh, breast cancer, hashtag superwoman, hashtag scared. And she says, I'm sorry to all those I shocked with my post. I share to empower because I sometimes feel alone in my struggle. So I want all those women who I know, whom I know to understand, to know that you're not alone. To not, they're not alone in their pain, their fear, their feelings. I get it all now. I don't know if I have cancer yet, as the biopsy is all I have been through at this point. So she's just waiting, and I think that is the most yeah, the waiting part, of all yeah. because you don't know. Yeah. Because, you know, God forbid, like, by, if you, when you have a result, you can start looking for a solution. Yeah. But now it's just, yeah. like, waiting. Yeah. That's overthinkers. scary. Yeah. Hey, overthinkers me. Hey, I'd have been just, who could just deep in my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> having gone through the journey yeah, before as well. Journey. With yeah, the, have the some, see someone else So you've seen it. the pain through mm. someone else. You've seen, you know, how you want something to be like. You want a miracle at that yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. And it's just... And the fact that, you know, she had already seen that. But do you see, like, the minute she discovered that she had this lump, and I can, I can imagine the feeling then, mm. no, you start seeing things and believing yeah. them that you're sick, you're sick, you're sick. Yeah. And just hoping for the miracles. But she is okay now, and we thank God. Yeah. 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 Mm. She's fine. Will be well. So, anywho, I have the next story, and it's from Uganda or South Africa. I don't know now. Diamond's baby mama, Zari Hassan, has headed up to <laughs> Tapa. With you trolls trolling her kids, she says she can take it when it it's like in, like thrown at her. But when you hurl insults at her daughter or sons, now there is where she has a problem with that. Now she is tired, and she went on to post a video of Tifa playing and laughing, and she said so much in one post. Let me read it out for you. In fact, na kandika na kiswahili. We know that her swahili is not really that good, but I don't know kama ni diamond kandika. I'm not saying, <coughs> hakuna mtu anataka ama anapenda watoto wake watukanwe. Miaka na miaka, mna nitukania wanangu, na nilikuwa nimekaa kimya. Mimi kama mzazi nimeumizwa sana, ni sawa na, na vile nye, nye mnaumia kuwa nimewatukana watoto wenu. Hakuna mzazi anapendezwa na haya mambo ya kutusi watoto tena wadogo. Kama umeumizwa na insta live yangu, then do ujue na mimi huwa naumia kama wewe wat, wote tuna roho za binadam au mnadhani mimi siumi? She posed the question. Acheni kunitukania wanangu kwani kama shida ni mimi then ni chambeni mimi. Kuchamba by the way na jua mjuni ni, 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 ni kuinsult. Like kama unanitukana nitusi mimi. Kuchamba mm. ndio hiyo nimewambia. Nitukaneni mimi vyo vyote mtakavyo. Taka, kwani bado sijaona tu sijipia toka nimeanza kutu, kunitukana. E, oh, mimi God. sio mwenda wazi mu, ajandika vzuri, eti nianze tu kusema vitoto vienu hivi na hivi. Mme nianza tena miaka na miaka. Anyway, just in short, we she have also, a video so, actually. We, we, do actu mm. we do have a video, let's watch it first. Tifa is smart, she's beautiful, she's intelligent. Samahani mumeza vitoto venye havina akili, havina confidence, haviwezi kuongea. Yani vimekua. Tifa is smart. She doesn't have to be told what to say. She doesn't need to be trained. We speak English around here. My nannies speak English. My sons speak English. They're going to international private schools. 
with a whole lot of standards and a lot of English and a whole lot of poise, a whole lot of everything. Tulieni uko na watoto wenyu wenye wenye hawataki tujui ma attitude titi fa ndio mwenye attitude kazaliwa na attitude from day one. What am I supposed to do? There are some characters kama umezaliwa nazo when you can't buy them or you just can't copy them. Watu wengi hapa wana copy, wana fake maisha watu wana copy kufanana na watu wengine. It can't be original is original, copy is copy. Damn. Anyway, so of course Damn. she admitted that she poked fun at other haters babies but mm. that's because she just wanted them to feel how she felt when they were insulting her child. What? Yeah. yeah. I mean you can only poke someone for so long before they like especially when it comes to like especially when it comes to kids like mm. shame on you leave someone's kids out of them. Kwanza kau jaza. Watch out. Lakini imesikia English ndio standard. Eh. But sasa kwa ni English nimeja intelligence. Eh, yeah. Kani kama imesemwa sana hapo eh. kwa hiyo video. Yeah, Ndio wana wanaenda international school. Yeah. Private, international private, private school wanaongea mm. English. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Sasa wale hatuna yani shule zetu hata tukumbuki jina. Usiseme. <laughs> Do I don't want you to swallow your tongue trying to say matongolo girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Anyway, it is what it is. It, it is, is what it is. is. We are here But now. Not we are yeah, always advocating honestly. that like if you want to go at somebody, please go, go at them and adults. Yeah. Please yeah. leave the kids alone. Tafadhali. Yeah.